Hey guys, welcome to TCC. So it's been quite a time that we haven't uploaded our video, but we hope this changes now. So here we are with the third episode of Dekhle Ladakh. Here we travel from Kargil to Leh, a distance of 220 km through some mesmerizing view and a few places of geographical and historical uh, importance. Uh, we have tried to uh, put as much as information in this video possible. Uh, so hope you will, you will enjoy it. So let's go. We started early morning from the Kargil. Our destination for the day was Leh city, at a distance of 220 km. After travelling for an hour, we reached Mulbek. In Mulbek, Buddhist statue, as you can see, the very famous rock Buddhist statue. After traveling for around an hour, we reached Mulbek. It is around 45 kilometers from Kargil. Mulbek is famous for Mulbek Chamba, where a prox 9 meter tall figure of standing Maitra Buddha curved into the rock face on the right hand side of the road. Chamba means statue in Ladakhi. This place marks a cultural junction between Islam-based Western Ladakh that used to be part of Baltistan and Buddhism-based Eastern Ladakh that had more connection with Tibet. Some people believe the statue dates to the Kushan period. Our next stop for the day was Namikala, which was 5-6 km from Mulbe. It is the second highest pass on Srinagar Leh Highway and that is when you start to understand why Ladakh means the land of high passes. It is located at an altitude of 12,918 feet. The nature is completely barren here. If anyone has read Said Mustafa Ali's Deshe Bideshe, this place would remind you the description of his journey through Khyber Pass. Fatula Top is the highest pass on Srinagar Leh Highway at an elevation of 13,479 feet. In the meantime, you come across local villages like Saraks, Bayul, both Kharbu. It is amazing to think that these people survive here in this barren land which has almost nothing to offer for life. Fifteen kilometers from Fortula and you reach Lamayuru Monastery. It can be seen from quite a distance. The monastery is designed in such a way that it gets camouflaged with the mountains around. The altitude is 3510 meters.
The degradation due to the continuous dry air flow on mountain walls is clearly visible here. It is one of the oldest monasteries in Ladakh. Legends believe that this place was once a lake that dried up. Lamayuru is popular for its lunar landscape as well. Reason being, its peculiar land surface which closely resembles the surface of the moon. Its history dates back to the 11th century when a scholar named Mahashiddhacharya Naropa laid the foundation stone of Malamayuru Monastery. It is believed that his prayer caused drying up the lake that fed an entire village and because the water receded, the place started to get moonlight craters, which is now popular among tourists as moonlight. We are right now at Batali. The army movement is quite visible here. Uh, we, we had our RTPCR report checked again. Uh, we witnessed something unique here an army tank was moving on the road. Batalik is one of the places that we got to know about during Kargil War. Batalik is known for its Brokpa villages. The Brokpa tribe is believed to be the last direct descendant of the Aryans. With all our formalities done, we had our lunch at Khalsa, a small but important town on the bank of the Indus. This place is famous for apricots. It is believed that Khalsa was one of the important halls on the old Silk Road and there is a system of paying tolls near the bridge back in those days as well. As we moved ahead, the landscape started to change. We were moving through valleys more often. There were amazing regions where you could see the road has gone straight for quite a few kilometers. We visited Magnetic Hill, Gurdwara Shripatha Shahib before entering Lake. According to local legend, once a demon tried to kill Guru Nanak while he was meditating here by throwing a boulder at him. But as soon as the boulder touched him, it turned soft and an impression of his back got embedded on the boulder. Here is the thing, Tibetans refer Guru Nanak as a Buddhist saint under the name of Guru Gongpa Maharaj. He is also famous among Tibetans as Nanak Lama. We took a short break just before entering the lay city. As soon as you enter the city, the lay airport and the hall of fame welcomes you. So finally we are at the roof of the world. See you in Khartoum line next episode. Hope you like the video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. We will come back soon with a new video where we will travel to Nuga Valley. Thank you.